Hi everybody! Faith is what we've been talking about this whole time. And faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Lately, we've been talking about the time after Jesus died, he rose again, and then he went up to heaven to be with God. As Jesus' followers spread the word about his death and resurrection, the number of believers grew a lot. As the early church grew, Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, traveled from town to town. He was sharing the good news about Jesus and healing sick people, too. In the town of Joppa, Peter even raised a woman from the dead back to life through the power of God's Spirit. And as a result, many people believed in Jesus. Peter stayed there for a while to help leaders of the new believers. He stayed with a man named Simon, who made things with leather. Simon lived right by the sea. And Peter had spent time with Jesus, and he knew about God's plan to save his people. But it turned out that God's plan was even bigger than Peter imagined. About 40 miles north of where Peter was, a Roman army commander named Cornelius was praying. Cornelius wasn't Jewish, but he and his family worshipped God. They freely gave to anyone that needed help. As Cornelius prayed, God sent an angel with a vision, and the angel spoke to Cornelius. Let's listen to what the angel said. Your prayers and gifts to poor people are like an offering to God. So he has remembered you. Now send men to go see Peter. He is staying with a man named Simon who works with leather and his house is by the sea. When, you, when an angel shows up to you and tells you to do something, you're probably going to do it, right? So Cornelius called two servants and a soldier, and he sent them on their way. Can you walk with me? They had to walk to Peter. So they were walking, kept walking. And around noon the next day, Peter went up to the roof to pray. Can you climb up the roof? Great job. He got hungry, and he wanted some food. While the meal was being prepared, Peter had a vision. And it says this in the Bible. It says he saw heaven open up, and there he saw something that looked like a large sheet. And it was being let down to earth by its four corners. And it had all kinds of four-footed animals on it. It also had reptiles and birds on it. Then a, vo then a voice told him, Get up, Peter, eat. Peter said, no, I have never eaten anything that isn't clean. The voice spoke to him a second time and said, do not say anything is not pure that God has made clean. This happened three times. Then the sheet went back up to heaven. In case you're wondering about this clean part, let me explain. According to God's law in the Old Testament, Jewish people were forbidden to eat the meat of any of these animals that were called unclean. So it must have been pretty confusing for Peter to be told that he could eat these animals now. Peter wondered what this vision had meant. Just then, a man sent by Cornelius arrived at the gate, and they asked if Peter was staying there. And Peter was still on the roof when they arrived. But God's Spirit spoke to Peter, and here's what the Spirit said. Peter, three men are looking for you. Get up and go downstairs, and don't let anything keep you from going with them. I have sent them to you. Peter obeyed the Holy Spirit, and he went downstairs to greet the men. Can you climb down now from your roof? Peter asked them why they had come. And here's what they told Peter. We have come for Cornelius, a Roman commander. He is a good man who worships God. All the Jewish people respect him. A holy angel told him to invite you to his house. Then Cornelius can hear what you have to say. Peter invited the men to be his guest. 
And you can imagine that Peter started to understand what the vision meant. Just like it was forbidden for Jews to eat certain foods, it was also forbidden for Jewish people to enter the home of a non-Jewish person. But it seemed that God was making new rules about what was clean. The story of Jesus was not just for the Jewish people, but for everyone. The next day, Peter, the three men, and some of the believers set out to Joppa. By the following day, they arrived and went to Cornelius' house. And Peter had never stepped inside the home of a non-Jewish person. But inside the home, Cornelius had gathered all his relatives and friends to hear about Peter. The commander lowered himself to the ground before Peter to show a sign of respect. But Peter told him to stand up. He said to him, Cornelius explained to Peter everything that the angel had told him, that God had heard his prayer and that he should send men to bring Peter back to his house. Cornelius told Peter that he and his family were ready to listen to Peter and learn all about God. Peter shared with everyone how God had sent Jesus to share God's love. He explained how Jesus had taught and healed people through God's power. He shared how Jesus had been killed, but that he raised again and was in heaven. While Peter spoke, God sent his Holy Spirit to be with Cornelius and his friends and his family. The Jewish believers who had come with Peter were amazed. God had given his spirit to these new believers, even though they weren't Jewish. When Peter realized that God had given the Holy Spirit to Cornelius and his family and his friends, he knew that there was no reason that they couldn't be baptized. And that's what Peter did. He baptized Cornelius and all his friends and all of his family in the name of Jesus. Then he stayed with them for several days. And he was so excited because God had helped him look at other people in a completely new way. And that's because knowing Jesus changes the way you see other people. I love hearing that story about how Peter knew that he could share Jesus with everyone. And we have that same job too. So let's pray about that, that we will be able to tell so many people about Jesus. Let's fold our hands and bow our heads and pray to Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to share your love with others. Help us to be bold and brave when we share who you are. In your name we pray. Amen. Bye, boys and girls. Have a great week. Bye.